Hello everyone, I'm meteorologist Malika Dudley, still here with Dr. Dudley, tsunami expert. It's Tsunami Awareness Month. If you missed our first video, what is a tsunami and just some basic facts about tsunamis, make sure you check it out. I'll link it above or below. Um, and in this video, we wanted to talk a little bit about how to prepare or how to know that a tsunami is coming. So obviously if it comes from a distant source, that's something that the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center will be on top of and you'll be getting warnings through the media. Sometimes though, we've got local tsunamis that are generated right here at home and a tsunami could be here within minutes. So what are some of those warning signs? Well, uh, an earthquake is one. So if you feel an earthquake that's strong enough that you have trouble standing up, it's probably strong enough to have generated a tsunami. And better be safe than sorry. If you feel that and you're anywhere near the coast, you should evacuate inland. Not to be alarmist, it's Not just good to be prepared. And another way that you can evacuate is a vertical evacuation. I know there's not a lot of that on the Big Island. On Maui, we have a lot of hotels. So if you are near the coastline and um, you don't have time to go inland, it's just as good to go vertical. It's better if it's like a concrete, reinforced concrete parking structure that doesn't have horizontal walls so that the water could flow through. So, but it's much better to go inland and up. Another warning sign, doesn't have to have an earthquake. If you're at the beach and you see the water mysteriously surge in or withdraw, could have been there was a landslide, you know, and it could have been a few miles away and you wouldn't have heard or seen anything, but the tsunami has been created. So you should also be aware of that and take that as your warning. Right, so if the ocean is behaving in an unusual manner, it's always a good idea to get away from it. Absolutely, absolutely. Once again, better safe than sorry. So what are some things that people can do to prepare themselves um, in case of a tsunami warning or of a tsunami? It's good if you're evacuating and in, in perhaps your home is in a tsunami hazard zone. It could be destroyed. You know, it's good to have your important papers like your birth certificates and, and car ownership papers, things that can't be replaced easily in one place. A little, you know, survival package too. Just recently, there was an emergency preparedness workshop up in Haiku. They gave amazing information and resources. So I have those links. I'm gonna put them in the article attached to this video. So make sure you check them out. There's details on exactly what should be in your survival kit. Um, things that honestly I hadn't thought of, even though I have a survival kit at home, um, so I think you might find it interesting, so make sure you check that out in our article as well. And you know, we talk about natural disasters. That's really a, a, a bad term. They're natural hazards, the things that naturally happen, and they only become disasters when we don't prepare and don't take the right action. If a tsunami happens, there are certain things that happen in the aftermath that are a little unexpected, and we saw them happen in Japan, in Alaska, um, things like fires and, and things like that. So maybe can you talk a little bit about the things that um, people might not think about in dealing with the aftermath? Sure. Um, first of all, the infrastructure may be destroyed. I mean, the sewage treatment plants, the pipes may be ruptured, gasoline storage. You know, in Alaska, there were huge fires because the storage for all the fishing boats, those tanks ruptured. First spark, they caught on fire and it took days to put those fires out. What is the one thing that's kind of stuck with you in doing survivor interviews and what they wish other people knew? You know, in almost every case where there was huge loss of life, they could have prevented it if they'd only known what to do. And, and I remember they'd had a school training course in Samoa just before the 2009 tsunami. And I heard this repeatedly, that the children in the school, 800 in one school in particular, would have all died had they not had this course and known what to do, and, in, and the teachers were trained with the students and they all immediately evacuated and the school was completely destroyed. That's all it took was the training. So knowing what to do really matters. Get a survival kit together and, and just talk about it with your family. Have a family plan. When something happens, you feel prepared. So thank you so much.